Thanks for joining me guys for another video beer review. Again, another another revisit of a, of a beer that I've drunk quite a few bottles of over the years. The last time I reviewed it was about five years ago. So it's nice to just go back to beers that you've had. I think the longevity of the channel, I'm allowed to sort of revisit beers every now and again, I guess, and, uh, and not get too bogged down with repeating the same stuff over and over again. Traditional stuff at its best for me, and it's from the Fuller's Brewery. It is their Black Cab Stout, 4.5% ABV in the lovely 500ml bottle that they offer. So, uh, yeah, named in honour of the icon of the capital, this aromatic dark beer will transport you to the days of when porters and stouts were Londoners' drink of choice. The style. Um, this style of stout delivers a rich, full flavour of chocolate malts in the brew, balanced with fuggle and golden hops, creating a satisfying bitterness. And I mean, just harping on really about being like fanboys of, of certain breweries. I did sort of a little bit when I knew a few years back now that Asahi were going to step in and, and buy the brewery thinking that the quality would go downhill and it hasn't it really hasn't i think they just let them get on with it all the beers that fullers make in bottles uh, are still to this day mighty mighty fine and i hope it may continue for a very very long time as well they've just got an excellent portfolio of, of beers from all sorts of styles really even their frontier lager I don't mind I really don't mind I think it's good but beer in the glass then that's lovely jet black beer bit of carbonation moving up on half a finger of off-white head yeah you get a little bit of bitter chocolate in there It's kind of slightly roasty on the nose. But yeah, I'd probably go along the lines of more, more of a, a bit bitter chocolate in there on the aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's a classic London stout, shall we say. There's no bells and whistles to it. It's roasty, there's a bit of dark fruit in there, there's a bit of chocolate, there's a kind of, yeah, like your roasty toasty sort of vibe to it. Um, again, I mean, 4.5, in the grand scheme of things, it's a session style, isn't it, at that ABV. The body reflects that, really. It's not the most glorious of bodies, but down the hatch beer. I mean, it's, you know, he's not completely thin, thin. There's glimmers of that kind of slightly, ever so slightly creaminess about it. But maybe that's coming from the little bit of the chocolatey sort of vibe in there. There's a milky coffee presence maybe in there. Bitter, roasty. It's great. It really is. And it's... I don't think it's in every supermarket, but I picked this up from Morrison, so it's on the four for six. So you can fill your boots if you just want to get four bottles of that for six quid. To me, that's that's value. That is just absolute value. I think Waitrose stock it as well. Um, what I tend to do normally is, depending on what supermarket I'm in, if I go to Waitrose, a couple of bottles of this, and maybe a couple of bottles of, again, the classic London Porter, which pips this one for me personally as dark beers go from fullers that is the bee's knees that is that london porter but yeah it's it's a decent well-made classic traditional stout from from the the mighty fine guys at fullers in uh, in london they're black cab stout 4.5 percent abv 
quality stuff, quality traditional stuff. See you on my next one. Cheers.